welcome back to my channel this is tito id we're going to continue our past questions and answer chemistry objective for two, year 2020 kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel the first question is the most suitable process of obtaining water from an aqueous solution of sugar is a crystallization b distillation c filtration and d decantation yeah our answer is b distillation distillation is a method used to separate two solvents that are mixable they are mixable based on their differences in boiling points group seven elements in their combined states are called a halogens b an ions c halide and d cations our answer is c halides yes they are called halides in their combined form example hydrogen halides like hydrogen chloride hydrogen iodide so they are halides when an ionic bond is broken, bonding electrons are A, shared between participating atoms, B, gained by the most electropositive atom, C, gained by the most electronegative atom, D, lost by both participating atoms. Our answer is A, shared between participating atoms. That is what happens when ionic bonds are broken. They are shared between participating atoms. The oxidation state of chlorine in sodium chlorate is A plus 1, B plus 3, C plus 5, and D plus 6. I'm going to show the working. So we're looking for oxidation state of chlorine in sodium chlorate. We call this sodium, this particular compound is called sodium chlorate. And we are looking for the oxidation state of chlorine here. Oxidation state for sodium is plus 1. For chlorine here, we don't know. For oxygen is 2 minus. So what are we going to do? We'll bring down the oxidation state. This one is plus 1. So we're going to make this plus x. This is 3 times this. So it's going to be 3 times minus 2, that is minus 6. So, equal to 0. What, what do we do? We transfer this here. It becomes plus 6. You know when it's crossing over, crossing over the equal sign, the sign changes so it becomes plus six i'll bring this one to here it becomes we bring this plus one here it becomes minus one so x is equal to plus six minus one is plus five so oxidation state of chlorine in sodium chlorate is plus five or five plus So from our working, you can see our answer is C plus 5. A balanced chemical equation is based on the law of A, periodicity, B, constant composition, C, multiple proportion, and D, conservation of mass. Our answer is D, conservation of mass mass which states that in a closed or isolated system the mass of the product and mass of the reactant has to equate themselves it has to be equal meaning it has to be constant which are the following pairs of elements as the greatest difference in electronegativity a sodium and fluorine b sodium and chlorine c sodium and bromine and d sodium and iodine of course our answer is a sodium and fluorine yes fluorine is the most electronegative element dear so 
that is why it is sodium and fluorine it is more electronegative a factor that is considered most important when citing a chemical industry is a nearness to other industrial establishments b nearness to raw materials c favorable climate conditions and the availability of storage facilities of course our answer is b nearness to raw materials the boiling point of pentane is higher than that of propane because a carbon carbon single bond is higher than carbon hydrogen bond pentane has more covalent bond to break pentane does not burn easily as propane the intermolecular forces in pentane are stronger than that of propane the answer is b pentane has more covalent bonds to break of course which of the following solids would not decompose on heating a ammonium chloride b lead 2 triazonitrate c potassium triazocarbonate 4 d sodium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 c potassium triazocarbonate 4 will not decompose on heating and the last question the following molecules have double covalent bonds between two atoms except a oxygen b carbon dioxide c ethene and d water so of course the answer is d water oxygen does carbon dioxide does ethene also has double bond but water does not i'm going to show you the structure of water molecule so water molecule has this structure hydrogen to oxygen bond hydrogen to oxygen and they are all single bond there is no double bond so that is why water is our answer so thank you for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it i'm going to be releasing a video concerning past questions also we're going to do theory so kindly subscribe to this channel and give me a big thumbs up bye